This video is about how to run Android Pie on your PC inside VirtualBox. In this video, I'm using an Android x86 ISO file to install Android Pie. So what is Android x86? It's an open source project started by Chi Wei Huang and Yi Sun in 2009. Its goal was to port Android from a RISC ARM chip to an x86 chip. This means that when you download an x86 ISO file, you can do an Android install on a hardware machine or as a virtual machine in virtualization software like VirtualBox. So your outcomes from this video would be to be able to download Android x86, to be able to configure a VirtualBox guest operating system for Android x86 virtual machine, install Android x86 Android Pi ISO file into a virtual box as a guest, and test drive Android x86 by downloading apps from the Play Store. Requirements? A host computer with administrative privileges, 64-bit 4-core processor, minimum of 6 gigabytes of RAM, I recommend at least 8 gigabytes of RAM, an internet connection, virtualization hardware support, and VirtualBox 6 Plus install. For the Android x86 Android Pi API Level 28 guest, 64-bit Linux 4.x guest operating system, 2 cores of a multi-core processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and 8 gigabytes of storage. The next three slides contain additional sources of info, a list of the software used in making this video, and a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop this video to read the slides. Here I am at the Android x86.org page, and this is where I'm going to start off to download the uh, Android ISO file for VirtualBox. If you want to take a look at this page, you've got what's new and the project goal and sponsors and everything. But basically what I'm going to do is just start with the download. Pick FOSS Hub, download. And they ask you to donate. So if you want to donate and this is something that you're very much interested in, go ahead and donate either crypto or PayPal. But the one I'm going to download is the Android x86 download signature version 9.0 or release 2. Basically what this is, this is Android Pi. Click download. Here I am going to be downloading to my computer. You just have to keep track of where you download it. Click save. And this should pop up here. The bottom left, here it is. 36, 37 seconds left. Very quick download. I think it's under well, it's a 921 megabyte file, so it's under a gig. Okay, it's downloaded. And that's all there is to download the file. Here I am in Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. And I'm going to create a virtual machine to install Android x86 on. And so I go to Machine up here at the top. Click on it, click on new. Time for me to come up with a creative name. Android X86. Of course, I'm sure you can come up with something more creative than where to install it. I already have H drive Android. You can select this by right clicking here in the right corner and then going to other. So type, it would be a Linux type of operating system. And a version. Now, since we're installing Android Pi, that would be Android 4. Android Pi uses Android 4.x. So we'll go Linux 263 slash and slash 4. And then click Next. Want to go to 2048. 2048. Hit Enter. And it says the recommended size of the hard disk is 8 gigabytes. And I'm going to create a virtual hard disk now. Click Create. And I'm going to use Default, Virtual Disk Image. 
Click Next. And dynamically allocated means that the virtual machine only takes up as much host storage space as there is software installed on the guest machine. So let's click Next. And 8 gigabytes is what we're going to install as far as the size of the hard disk or storage is concerned. Click Create. Okay, so now we have Android x86 virtual machine, but we're going to have to make some changes for it to work. And one thing is over here in system, we're going to give it uh, two processors instead of one. That's what's recommended. Click OK. So you'll see it's got two processors. Display. Definitely got to make a change here. Well, I'd like to give it 128 megabytes video memory. But the change you have to make here is on the graphics controller. It says VM SVGA. We're going to change that to VBox SVGA. Otherwise, it'll probably dump you into a uh, screen where you just have a command line. Click OK here. Now we're storage. We're going to have to set where to find the uh, ISO file. Got the controller IDE, and then click on this little CD-ROM here. Click over here, and go over here to the right. And we've got to choose a disk file. And basically, wherever we stored the downloaded file, click here, choose a disk file. And in this case, it would be uh, in this folder. Click Open, come down to the bottom right, and click Open. OK. And so now we have a virtual machine that Hopefully, we'll install the Android x86 ISO in successfully. Okay, here I have the Android x86 virtual machine. I'm going to be installing the Android x86 ISO file in it. Everything is set up to go. Right click, start, normal start. I'm going to try and keep it in the center. So we've got four choices here Live CD, Live CD debug mode. You would probably use that if you were actually installing this on a hardware machine. Installation, this is where you're going to have to set your own separate uh, hard disks and everything. And advanced options. I'm going to pick advanced options because this is the easiest. And then again, I've got a number of different options. But down here, there's one that says auto installation, auto install to specified hard disk. And that's the one I'm going to pick. Hit enter. It says, you have chosen the auto installation. The installer will erase the whole dev SDA, device SDA, or first disk, install Android x86 to it. And that's going to be the choice I'm going to make. So I hit tab to bring me back over to the yes and hit enter. And it goes about installing it. it seemed to be a very fast install. OK, just hit Enter. Saw the command line interface come up for a second, but it disappeared, and that's because we had the right we had the right display setting for Android. OK, so we got start. Now I'm going to start using the mouse here, and you'll notice how it turns into a black pointer here. And if you run into problems with it, you'll have to go input here and click on mouse integration. And then you're going to have to use the uh, right control key to get in and out of this little box. But I don't have any problems here, so I'm going to keep going in here and click on Start. And it says, Searching for Wi-Fi networks. I think it makes it a little bit quicker to install if you just click on See All Wi-Fi Networks. And it's Vert Wi-Fi, which the one supplied by VirtualBox. We'll click on that. And then we're connecting and checking for updates. Not exactly sure what kind of updates it's going to be getting, especially since we're not hooked up to a phone or anything. Maybe Google does supply some updates somewhere. Probably something I should know and should check into since I'm using the Android x86. Maybe somebody that's watching this could uh, give me a hint. Or a pointer on this. So now it asks if I want to copy apps and data. Not really to this virtual machine. I can choose which content to copy. 
So I'm going to come down here. I got two choices, don't copy or next. And I'm going to click on don't copy. And one thing you're going to have to have in order to use this Android x86, you're going to have to sign in with your Google sign in. Well, you don't really have to, but it makes it so much easier. So I'm going to sign in and blur this out. And it asks you to check the date and time. So everything seems to be okay for me. I just accept everything. Click Next. And Google Services. No, I don't want to back it up. And I guess I'll have to click More. I'm not going to use a location or allow scanning. Allow apps to scan for Wi-Fi networks. But I am going to use Send Usage and Diagnostic Data and click More. And install Updates and Apps. And I'm going to accept because when I road test this, but when I test this, I am going to install some apps. And protect your tablet. We'll click Not Now. You won't be able to prevent others from using this tablet if it's lost or stolen. I would click Skip anyway. So I'm not going to ask Google to work for me. I'm just going to click No Thanks. And anything else? Change wallpaper. You can play around with this. If I uh, change font size, font size is okay with me. Let me change wallpaper here. And I'm going to go over here. Click on Wallpapers. I guess that's the default I get. Okay. Because I know I don't have any photos. No items. So it usually asks what kind of uh, taskbar I want, but I guess I have to get out of the set wallpaper section. And done for now. Okay. Select a home app, and I'm going to pick taskbar. And just once. That's it for installing uh, Android x86. And then I'm going to take it for a test drive in the next section. Okay, here I am. I'm going to take uh, Android x86 for a test drive, my virtual machine. I want to point out one time again that if this starts monkeying around with the mouse and it doesn't come out of here, if the mouse starts monkeying around, you'll have to go to Input Mouse Integration and click that. And then you'll have to use the right control key to get into and out of the Android x86 virtual machine but not have any problems there. So I'm going to go over here and take this for a spin. I'm going to go to the Play Store. One thing you can use this for is to test some items. Taking a while for this to come up on the first spin. It says search for games, apps and games. I'm going to put Baba Rainer. Okay. And I've written a few apps that really haven't got much play. So, I'm going to see if these work. Take them for a, uh, one's called Parts Runner. And basically, I fix things around the house, person that fixes things. So, I made myself an app that whenever I went to pick up a part or have to hunt down a part, some hardware store or auto parts store, gives me all the pertinent information. I'm going to click Install. Must have a very slow uh, connection here. Oh, went away. Well, let me see if it's installed. Nope. Click on Play Store. Okay, here's Bob Arena Parts Runner again. Right here it says it's installed. Okay. Well, let's see if it is. A little bit of uh, confusion there. Well, there it is. It's installed, even though it didn't give me a message. Let's see if I can get it to take the whole screen. Let's add an item. And... If I click over here on the right, here in this x-Android 
x86 this right little triangle here nothing's going to happen but if I click over here on computer you'll see that I've got a number of different choices I'm going to go to vehicle year Uh, let me go down here and pick a year, 214. That's actually set at 215 right now, so I'll just go with OK on that. And we'll say a Ford. F-150. Serial number XYZ, whatever. There's, they have about a 10-digit serial number. I'll replace. Don't want to get too complicated. The air filter. And I run down to the parts store and with that information I can get the right air filter. But if I need something more complicated, uh, I don't know, water pump or something, I'm going to have to know the engine size and serial number anyway. And then save on it. Click here for save. And if I want to have more options, edit equipment type. I got computer, household appliance, kitchen appliance, vehicle. What about garden stuff? Save that. And so I've got garden tools now. Go back and add a lawnmower. Garden tools here twenty twenty okay and uh, echo electric electric model lawnmower and needs a new battery. Of course, you may, you're going to need your model number and serial number, more than likely. Save it. And anyway, that's my parts running list. Of course, let me close this. I don't know if I'd recommend doing testing of your Android apps on this device, but it's interesting to play around with a little bit. Let me try something else here. Where'd the Play Store go? There it is. Moved over. And I'll go with Baba Rainer, Sammy, Scribble 2. And we'll try that one. Install. And this time it seems to be installing correctly. So, you know, I have a feeling it's a little buggy in x86 here, Android x86. I'll open this up. I'll just, uh, this is just a drawing app I made for my grandkids. And pardon my drawing. And we'll put some blue eyes here. Another blue eye. Yeah. Put a brown nose. And some black hair. Yep. Kind of hard to do with the mouse here. And that's that. Let's see. Might be a little bit tough to get out of it because if I drag this gray bar over it should allow me to get out but obviously that's not going to happen here. Click here. Take me back or let's close this. And let's see if it'll go back up. Parts runner goes up. I guess this is the first parts runner to go back up. You may wonder, how do I get out of here? Well, the way I've found is go to Machine, ACPI Shutdown, 
And you'll notice here it says power off or restart. That's kind of like your button on the side there. And that's pretty much it for uh, playing around with Android x86. And I think they're working on Q now after uh, Android Pi. So thank you for watching this video and have a good day.